Hello everyone. I really don't know how to begin this video. I know I have to make it because I'm Russian. I've lived in Europe for almost 10 years now, but I am Russian. And Russia has invaded Ukraine. I haven't posted in a while because I knew I couldn't talk about anything else until I talked about this. But at the same time, I don't know how to talk about this. Just let me tell you straight away, I am against the war, and any war for that matter. But I've noticed that people all over the world are having very, very strong opinions about it. Regular people like myself have been having wars of their own, online and offline, and I wish they would stop. Just like I wish more than anything that the actual war would stop. And I'll tell you why I think that. I believe that hate speech has never helped anyone. Because when someone posts hate speech, they will get approval and likes from people who already share their views. But those who don't share them will feel attacked, they will get defensive, and they will never ever change their point of view as a result. And this is why we post, right? We want to change people's minds. But if we do it in a very aggressive manner, we've lost before we started and will probably offend someone we didn't want to offend along the way. This is how it works. Only calm and constructive dialogue has some chance of fixing things. And this is true for individuals as much as countries. I am not a politician. I'm not a specialist. But so are the majority of us. And we don't have all the information on any conflict, and we never will. Even when all of this is long over, if humanity survives, and there are history books written about this. Those history books won't contain the whole truth. I am not excusing military aggression and invasion. Never. On the contrary, I think there is no excuse for them. I just want to point out that nothing you see on TV or online excuses negative generalizations and hate towards groups of people based on their race, ethnicity, or nationality. A person should be judged based on their views and words and actions on a case-by-case -case basis. This seems so obvious, and yet not everyone is on board, apparently. And that is heartbreaking. Because, you know, we are individuals, and it would make sense to look at war as individuals. We are not chess players, we are figures on the board. And those figures, those ordinary civilian people, they lose their homes that they have spent years building and filling with memories and objects that are only priceless to them because they hold a special meaning to them. Those people lose their livelihood, their hopes and dreams for the future and any sense of security they might have had, perhaps forever. But the worst thing? Those people lose their loved ones. Ordinary people that they have built a unique connection with. They are what matters most in the end, and when those lives are lost, nothing can ever replace them. When I see numbers of civilian casualties on any side of any conflict, I can't help but imagine how that must feel. I can't help thinking that when I think of the soldiers, too. There are plenty of people who have been forced, by law, to serve in the army. They did not choose this as their career. They never wanted to be a part of this, but they are now, and they are paying the price. They often end up paying with their lives. Nothing can compare to the suffering that the Ukrainian people are going through now, and also the Ukrainians who live in other countries but who still have family there, in the cities that are being attacked and besieged and invaded. I can't even begin to imagine what they are going through. I also have empathy for Russian people who are suffering from immense guilt, from rising poverty and fear and losing their freedoms. I have empathy for everyone who lives here and receives hate just because they speak Russian. Some of those people, they're not even from Russia. I have empathy for everyone in the world who has never supported this war in any way and is now living in fear of the end of the world. Because there is a possibility of World War III and the end, or an end, of the world. I feel for everybody who's already suffering from mental illness and whose condition has been significantly worsened by recent events. It is true that the history of humanity has been a history of war. But I think this is the case where 
seeing the big picture is not going to help bring about change. This is the time to see the smallest picture possible, down to a single human life. Hard as it may be, this is the time to foster empathy within ourselves. Those of us who have been lucky enough not to live in the war zone, those of us who still have our loved ones and our homes and our lives, we have things to be grateful for. And we should look within ourselves for kindness and compassion and help those we can help and convince those we can convince. I have no idea how those who have been in the war are going to live after that. I cannot imagine the extent of their suffering or what it would take to make them whole again. But for us, for those who haven't yet been affected, at least physically, we need to fight the hate and we need to take care of our mental health so we stay alive and stay strong to make changes in the world. Even if they are small changes for now, this time has been very hard for me. To be honest, I am barely functioning and I think I'm heading towards a mental breakdown. I guess the only thing we can do is try and make it one day at a time. This is a mental health channel, so I want to say, even with everything that is going on, don't forget to do some self-care. Turn off the news every once in a while and allow yourself to be distracted. This is not egotistical. It won't help anyone if you end up in the mental hospital. If you want to be able to bring something good into the world where there's so much pain, you need to be well and centered. I really hope we get through this. And I pray that the war in Ukraine ends as soon as possible, as do other wars. Even though, to be honest with you, I don't really have much hope or faith at the moment. I wish you all well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.